Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up an AI automated blogging system for the Blogger platform. Open up your make.com account and if you haven't seen my previous videos where I walk through the specific details of prompting and setting up the first modules, go ahead and check that out. I've got a link down in the description. So what we're going to do, this is basically the same setup in all of these when it comes to the open AI modules. All of them will generate a subject, then they're going to generate an image, then they're going to generate an entire blog, and then they're going to publish it to your platform. In this case, Blogger, and because Blogger doesn't have image hosting, or if it does, it's not available in the module. Like there's, when you go to add a new Blogger module, there is not an option to upload an image and it's not available in the create a post section so i've adapted by uploading the image to my google photos and then taking it from google photos and embedding it via html in my blog post right now i'm going to backtrack a little and we're going to add this module from scratch so let me delete it and unlink so now we're going to add a new module. You're going to search for Google Photos, select Google Photos, and you will get this list right here. So there's something kind of peculiar to Google Photos. I got this message the first time I did it. If you've never used the API to upload to your Google Photos before, what you're actually going to have to do is create an album via the API first. You can't upload an image until you have an album, and it's kind of counterintuitive. It cannot be an album that you've already created manually with Google Photos. It has to be an album that you created with the API. So the first thing we're going to do is create an album, and I'm going to give it a title. I just called mine Blogger, but you can call it whatever you want. And what you're going to do is first you're going to run this process, create a new blank album. Now you have a place for your image to go. Once you've created the album and allowed that process to run, it creates the album on your Google Photos. Now we can delete this and now we can add a photo. So let's see, where was that? List media, get a media, upload a media item. That's what they're calling it in Google Photos. And I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to select open AI so that it grabs the file from my image module right there. And then let's see, we have to select our album. I've got my album blogger. If you haven't created it yet, there will be nothing there. And what will happen is when you try to upload for the first time, it will fail if you don't have an album for that photo to go in. So I selected my album. Now we're going to link these two. And then in blogger, how I want to set up my my blogger account first you're going to connect just like any other system i do believe here yeah it's a it's a sign in as opposed to having to fetch an api so you're going to sign into your blogger account then you're going to select the blog that you've created that you wish to upload to here's where we fill it out this part is very similar to the rest of the modules for every other blogging platform so let's go through a quick rundown of how to set up your blog post module i've resized it so it's not hiding behind my pretty face so you will select your blogger module you're going to select the blog that you want to connect to if you have multiple they will be displayed in a list here and then where it has title what you're going to want to do, put your cursor down and you'll get the flyout menu and you're going to want to select the results that are returned from the module that you want to plug into the title. So in this case, I happen to know this is our title module right here. How can I tell? It's a little hard to see, but next to each module will be, will be a number kind of out to the side. And that is how you can tell. So right here, the number one module is this right here. Number one, there's number two, there's number 14. So we will go to number one, and I'm going to go under Choices, Message, and Content. And that's where we got our title result. That's going to plug in the title to the title field. Then we're going to go to Content, and I'm going to go to 14, which is our blog post generator. And same thing, Choices, Message, Content. Oops, I accidentally selected too soon. Be careful if you do that. So Choices, Message content and there we go it's set to draft state if i want to publish to a date in the future i can select that or select a different date i'm going to leave everything as it is and then let's run this and see what happens there we go Okay, so my process completed. 
everything looks like it went through. I'm going to go over to my blogger platform and I'm going to refresh. There we go, exploring the art of cannabis and then the new post exploring the therapeutic benefits of cannabis. This is kind of an example where, you know, I'm going to probably go in and retitle it. If you find that it's doing certain redundant things like every article begins with exploring, you can actually go back into your prompt and I recommend negative prompting. If you don't know what that is, that's going to be where you go right here and I've got my title prompt, come up with a random cannabis related post and format it in the style of a blog post title dash do not use the word exploring. Boom. And that is a way that you can effectively curtail any redundancy that keeps happening. So let's run this one more time. And I'm going to time warp this one. All right. Looks like the process finished. Refresh again. So let's open up the article see what we have see it's all nicely formatted one thing you might notice especially if you watch the previous videos about auto blogging i never selected an image to pass into my create a blog post module and the reason is it i just haven't found a way for that to work in blogger when i try to format that field as html it's it's not really working so the way we have to add that here We've already uploaded it to our Google Photos, so if I want it to be at the top of my blog, I'm going to put my cursor down, I'm going to go to the image menu item, and we are going to go to our Google Photos, which is automatically connected, and here are some of the photos that I've uploaded. So let me just select that one. That one's the one that was the most recent upload. Those are the ones that are made today. Select that. Select the size I want. So we'll do a large alignment center. Okay. And then let's preview. And that's it. If you want to add images to your blogger, you're going to have to do it manually. But if you've created them in your AI process, you will have an image there waiting for you. And that's it. That's how you set up an AI automatic blogging workflow for the blogger platform. If you like this video and you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope this helps you. Onward and upward.